Hi guys, it's currently 2 a.m. Something bad happened again. You know how Olivia was sick with E. coli? Um, she just got better two days ago now. She's been normal again, thank goodness. Right now, for some reason, she's been crying all night. She just does not want to go to sleep, which is why you can hear her in her room crying. We picked her up countless times and it's like once we're with her she's fine she's happy and she's like playing and obviously nothing's wrong with her anyway then victoria started crying and she had diarrhea and then enrique and i were like relaxing enrique brought a movie because he's like oh olivia's finally better now you know we can catch a little break relax she's about to poop again she's about to poop again so then we let both the girls you know like lay with us while we watch a movie and victoria threw up while we were watching the movie after having diarrhea, she threw up. And that's the first time I've ever seen her throw up in my life. Uh, we had to put Olivia back in her crib because Victoria was throwing up and crying. So we just needed full on attention on her. It's like she knows now that we pick, when she was crying, we picked her up. So now she's like really testing us. I only picked her up once. You picked her up the other time and I told you not. I know, we picked her up twice now. And she's just like getting the, yeah. No, because we realized nothing's wrong with her. She has no poop, she's not hungry, she's just, really wants attention right now. But right now we have to give Victoria attention because she's very sick. I don't know if it was E. coli or if she has something else. Well, I guess tomorrow we'll take her to the hospital. Victoria's she seems home. better. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Do you feel better? I guess I didn't tell you guys either, but uh, when we were doing the contract of this apartment, we, we wrote in the contract that we have pets, you know? And Enrique was walking powder outside and then the lady that showed us the apartment, she's like, oh, you have a dog? And we're like, yeah, we, we put it in the contract. And we, it was there. And she's like, no, you didn't. And we're like, yes, we did. And then we showed her the contract. She's like, oh, well, it, just so you know, it's $300 deposit for pets, which is something she never mentioned. And I didn't see it anywhere. Yeah, what are the odds that Enrique, like, walked her as soon as she was, like, passing at that very moment, you know, because we wouldn't have had to pay those $300. Not like we were sneaking it out. We honestly put it in the contract, but they didn't say anything. So we thought it was like a non-pet fee or something, but. Last night I made these overnight oats. I saw them on TikTok. They're cheesecake oats. And that's what we're all gonna have for breakfast today. Let's serve her on up. It looks a little funky, but I'm sure they're delicious. They have cream cheese, Greek yogurt, milk, protein powder, chia seeds. Here you go, madame. Is it good? What is it? That's porridge. It's porridge, yeah. Here you go, my lady. everybody welcome to a brand new video as you can see we're a little bit more settled at home there's furniture in the background and it just it really does feel like home now i think in today's video i'll give you guys a little tour and just so you know in the tour the things aren't going to be that organized or clean because we're still kind of yeah it's still kind of messy because we're still trying to organize things and see where they go i think the biggest mess right now is the girls room which is usually the one I have most pristine, but this room is just tiny, so I, I still have to find a system that works. Anyway, what else should I update you guys on? Olivia is finally doing great. No more sicknesses around here. Victoria's fine. Olivia's fine. 
we're fine, which is... I'm not fine. Have you asked me how I am today? I said we're fine. Not fine. Okay, Enrique's not fine. I'm struggling with uh, The animals are fine. Another update, this TikTok cheesecake oats. I didn't like them. Um, Enrique didn't like it either. But Victoria and Olivia, obviously they did like it, which is at the end of the day, the most important thing. So it's just too sweet. Wow. Enrique didn't like the oats so much that he decided to make his own breakfast. What are you making, chef? It's a chopped brown sirloin cake with surrounded by hickory smoked mesquite applewood bacon and black peppercorns from the prestigious HEB. Yeah, you guys, we shop at HEB now. That's and the only Walmart. thing that's close. And Walmart. <laughs> and Walmart. <laughs> womp No more, what's the name? Sprouts, Whole Foods. Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. We used yeah. to be bougie. Now we're... No. Budgie. We're budgie. No, we're budgie. <laughs> You want what? I want ice cream. Ice cream? You're not gonna have ice cream. Ice cream. She says she wants ice cream because for dinner time, whenever she eats all her food, I give her a little ice cream. But this is breakfast. You're not gonna have and ice cream. And you haven't finished your plate, so no I ice cream. All my breakfast. No, you didn't. Let me see. Or do you mean ice cream like onion, like I did that one time? Well, I still see eggs, strawberries, and porridge. No, you know who eats all their breakfast every time? Olivia. Then what is this if you ate all your eggs? She didn't eat no I eat all my eggs. No, there's still eggs there. Oh. Oh, you act like you didn't see it. She's so sneaky. Wait, basura primero. Aquí, basura. I'll help you with this. Think. Bravo, good girl. Now that we've had breakfast and Olivia's had a very big breakfast, I always take her to the toilet. Oh wow, Victoria's already setting it up for her. Thank you, Victoria. Okay. Toilet for Bolita. Okay. So Olivia's not potty trained, but I just want to get her used to using the toilet And I've been doing this for like a week now and I have, don't have to change poop diapers anymore So I already know her like every time she eats she poops like almost within 20 minutes of eating So I just thought just put her on the toilet, you know that way I don't have to clean a poopy diaper and she's an expert at it now And I think this is good. It'll make potty training easier in the future because Victoria she was really scared of the toilet, like pooping in the toilet, it just terrified her and Olivia just doesn't care, she'll just poop in the toilet like it's nothing. And she's only 13 months and she's already pooping in the toilet. <laughs> she's like, don't expose me mom, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> and then she is, she just chills on the toilet. She sits there, sometimes it takes like 20 minutes for her to go, sometimes it's like within three minutes. I just never really know. I want my poop, Nanny. And Victoria always hangs out with her while she tries to poop and motivates her. Ask caca bolita. Ask caca. And again, she's so sneaky. Yeah, she's so sneaky. It's been like 10 minutes. She still hasn't gone. It's just the reality. Sometimes she doesn't want to go right away. She never cries though or anything. She seems content on there. It's fine. It's not like I got anything else to do. By the way, Henrik and I had an anniversary and he let me get my lashes done. You know, I don't know anybody who does eyelashes here in McAllen. So I looked it up in Facebook home place or like the home marketplace and I go to drive to the place oh did you guys hear that that plop Olivia just pooped anyway um, she lives 
a minute away from me. It was so cool. So now every time I do my lashes, I just have to drive a minute. Olivia went poopy. Yay! Yay! Good job. I know the windows and shapes. Is it the caca? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said yes. Is it the caca? El caca. Sí, caca. It's like two hours later. We're eating sushi, and Victoria's eating edamames. Because <laughs> Victoria absolutely loves sushi. Yesterday we haven't like gone out as a family, and oh my god, I can't even remember when you guys like everything happening and the girls getting sick. So yesterday. We decided to take the girls to the choo-choo train, you know, but it was closed. So the second best thing for Victoria is sushi. So we took her to get sushi. Because <laughs> Enrique's been working nonstop every single day, I swear. I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of the girls' room. Something happened in the girls' room. And I really have no idea what it is. Uh, just one day, the carpet was extremely dirty, dusty. And it's, uh, it makes me so sad because you guys remember how white the carpet was and beautiful. And it's not like a progressive thing. It was like from one day to another, it was super dirty. And I just don't know what happened. This is what it looks like. Do you guys see how dirty that looks? You guys see how it's like dusty? And you know what the odd part is? This is, I just moved Olivia's playpen, but this is where her playpen was, was, and this is under the playpen. And it's dirty all the way here. Like just everything. I really don't understand what happened. Like if there was some kind of like dust that fell or some dust that came out of there. It just makes no sense at all to me. But yeah, now we have to get like a professional carpet cleaner or something. Maybe it's some kind of demon. I don't know. It's really weird, you guys. It's so odd. Like, look at that. What happened? And nobody can walk here because like I said, this is where Olivia's playpen was, yet it's so dirty. Just all woke up from a nap. I hear the girls. They're awake. Surprise them. Hey. Hey. What are you guys doing? Did you even sleep? Yeah. Did you sleep? Yeah. You did? I did. Did you sleep, Olivia? Yes. yes. Yeah? I put TV on for them because I kind of, they barely slept, I tell ya. They barely slept and I feel like I could have still used some me time. They slept for like an hour. Usually they sleep like two, sometimes three hours. <laughs> So I, I had still planned on like mopping the floors and stuff. I can't really mop the floors once they're awake. It's kind of hard to do. All right, everybody. It's 7.36 p.m. Enrique just messaged me. He said he's done with work. Sometimes, usually they drop them off from work. They have like this work van and they pick everyone up and then they drop everyone off. But sometimes it happens where one of them will have like an appointment which is like how they make their sales, you know, they're with a client. And then unfortunately, everybody that's in the van has to wait for that person. So Enrique was like, sometimes Enrique has me pick him up because, you know, those sales can take up to two hours. So yeah, um, he's like 10 minutes away. So we just left the house. I'm gonna go pick him up and then we're gonna go to the grocery store because we're running low on a few things, so. Kill two birds, one stone. Let's go get this man. <laughs> this hardworking man. Father. All right, Enrique's back from work. 
Well, I'm so shiny. Uh, you, you're an angel. Yes, I'm back from work and we are outside uh, this really cool place. It, I work in this area and they have some pupusas. The only pupusas that we've seen and pupusas we used to love those in seattle but it's a little car place and it says pupusas and we pass it so i told enrique the other day i really want to try them and to, to my surprise my co-workers had pupusas last night <gasps> from here right really good so, wow i'm excited i'm really hungry though you are really hungry i haven't eaten anything since i left <gasps> oh you poor ate. thing yes i ate quite a bit actually <laughs> So skinny. Yeah. yeah, we need our energy before shopping. H E B. Yeah. Also, life hack: if you eat before you go shopping, you shop less, you spend less money, you buy less crap. Yeah, but then that that actually does not work because then I. No, that one time we were so full and we only got like the basics. I know, but then I got but home then. and when I was hungry, I was like, damn, we don't have anything. We should have some snacks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Frijoles y queso. Well, that's exactly what you're gonna have. Una pupusa de frijolito con queso. There is our pupusas. The girls are gonna share this one. I'm gonna eat that one. Pupuchonas. And it comes with salsa. And I'm. Oh, I think this is the curtido. Oh, yes, that's curtido. Jum. Mm. Never mind. I guess each girl is gonna eat one. Enrique thinks. Actually, you know what? They might be able to finish a whole one on themselves. Oh, chocolate. Huh? Chocolate. Did you already have a first bite? No, sir. Was good? Yeah. It's caliente. You need to wait. Can you cut a plate for the for Victoria? Look at that. What a man. This is what you should look for in a man. Efficiency. Ouch. That rico? All right, guys, we are back home. The girls are actually sleeping. <gasps> it's 11 11. It's 11 11. Make a wish. Okay, as promised, I'm going to do the house tour. And like I said, it's not. The house doesn't look beautiful right now. I mean, it does. It does look beautiful, it's just not organized. All right, guys, so this is the entrance door. And I'm using the gimbal so you guys don't get dizzy. It's gonna look very seamless. You enter and then right away we have our dining area, the girls' kitchen. This is gonna be the office, but right now, like I said, we're still not 100% organized with everything because we're still in the middle of moving, as you can see the boxes which has all become recycle. You know what's really bad about here is they don't do recycle. So we literally take all our recycle to Enrique's aunt's house in order to recycle. I got my kitchen. And then the really nice thing is that I actually have a pantry, which is amazing. This saves me so much space. So now I have a ton of space in the kitchen area. I love the kitchen. No dishwasher though, which sucks, but like McAllen never has dishwashers. And then we have our living room. It's kind of a crowded situation. I still don't know how I'm gonna move it around. What else? This is just like a storage room with appliances, nothing special. This right here, laundry. We actually have a light. We have storage. I actually have a laundry and a dryer. This is the guest bathroom slash girls bathroom. They have a shower and bathtub. It's really nice and beautiful. I'm not gonna show you the girls room. You, are, you guys already saw it this morning, but they're sleeping. And then girls room. And that is, we actually have a really good sized backyard. I'll have to show you guys that in another video. I don't wanna make that much noise right now because the girls are sleeping. This is our bedroom. Hi, I'm Enrique. <laughs> uh, he's playing Call of Duty right now. I want it for, want it for a friend. Oh, uh, so if you guys want to play with him, he's Toy Vergon on there. <laughs> it's, called, it's pronounced Toy Vergon. Toy Vergon. Okay, Toy Vergon. <laughs> but if you speak Spanish, you know why he picked that name. All anyway. right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, as you can see here, we also have a lot of stuff out that we haven't Spendous. organized but we'll get to that we just i i just haven't 
taking been the time. Been through a lot, okay? Yeah. We've been through a lot. <laughs> we deserve a little break. Uh, this is like our only little nice decoration. And then we have a huge closet. Which is also not fully organized. Yes, don't judge because, yeah, it is very messy right now. But it is huge. How about that? We went from not having any closet space to having endless to amount of space. Bed, to a whole bathroom. <laughs> to a whole what? bathroom. <laughs> and then the last room of the house is our bathroom. Which is also, I think, the messiest. So please don't. Oh, and I have my bike here. This is our bathroom right now. It's very messy. Um, yeah, it's very messy right now because I just don't, like, I have a lot of stuff, but I feel like not enough space to put things away because I already have stuff here. So I have to buy something to organize my things. And we have a walk-in shower. So cool. It's pretty fancy. Pretty fancy indeed. Okay, my battery's about to die, so that is it for today's vlog. You guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon. I'm gonna start recording more now. Now that I feel at peace, I'm not, you know, I just feel at peace. So if you guys have video recommendations on what you wanna see, let me know. And yes, peace and blessings, everybody. Damn, that was a headshot. Bye. Bye.